So in this video, I'm gonna show you two proven, tried and tested profitable products. So I'm gonna show you the product, I'm gonna show you the supplier, I'm gonna show you the profitable landing page for each of these products. I'm gonna show you the profitable creative for each of these products. And the best thing about these products is that they're all working and proven to be working right now. So I'll also show you the data and the evidence behind that so you know exactly what to look for next time you're doing your product research. I'll also go one step further and show you how you can copy and paste these products into your own Shopify stores. So I'll show you how to take supplier imagery and rebranding it using very simple steps using a free tool called Canva. So you can rebrand each of these products images to match your very own Shopify store. This is a critical and crucial element that not enough dropshippers do. And I'll also show you how to take winning product descriptions and rewrite them with the help of AI to make them even more targeted and specific for your ideal target market. If you have a brand new product and you're not sure what your ideal target market is, not to worry, I will show you how to find that as well. So that's the top of the video. If you enjoy the video, please make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I upload videos three times per week. And if you have any comments or questions or anything you need help with, post them down below. I read every single one, so I will see it and I will respond to you. Alternatively, you can join my free course and community for dropshippers and ask in there and get help. It's 100% free, completely no catch. And with that being said, let's jump into product number one. This is product number one. We we'll kick it off by looking at the ad creative and watching this. A 41 second ad creative, it's an astronomy type gift. It's a 3D glass wall and inside has been printed different solar systems. And when you add it to the lamp, to the wooden stand, it gives a pretty cool 3D light. All in all, a very visually pleasing product. And visually pleasing products always do more than social media because social media is all about attention. So this ad is from a company called Palmly. It went live on September 30th. So it's a couple of months old, which is absolutely fine because if we have a look at the newest comments, we can see five hours, 13 hours, 18 hours. The reason some of these are a couple of weeks old is because they have replies from recent times. So it orders them in chronological order, depending on when the last comment or contribution to that feed was. 16 hours, 21 hours, one day. As we can see, a pretty significant amount of comments all within the last 24 hours, which is a great sign. So this is a product that's been selling for two months and two weeks consistently and still working. That is exactly what you want. 9.1 thousand reactions, 450 comments, and just under 800 shares. Shares are like pouring petrol on the fire. It just helps things explode. The average Facebook user has approximately 180, 200 friends. Every time they share your ad, you are getting free reach. You're getting organic reach for free. It doesn't cost you a penny. So next time you're having a creative made, instead of thinking, does this portray the product or does it sell the product very well? Instead think, would somebody want to watch this? Would somebody want to engage with it? Would somebody want to show their friend? The recent comments are great. But what's even better are comments from people who have bought this product. This is non-disputable evidence that the product is selling. Engagement does not always equal sales, but comments like this cannot be argued with. We have Adam 13 hours ago. I bought the whole set for my dad's birthday a couple of months ago and he loved them. I'll show you the cost of these products in a second. The profit margin margins are awesome. Let's head back to the most relevant comments because this is typically the ones that have the most engagements and this will be typically people sharing their experiences of the product. Palmly, the perfect gift for that special flat earther friend. So they're obviously using a bit of humor here to help boost the engagements. Luan, I gave my eight year old grandson one of these, the solar system. He thinks it's so cool. It is cool. I bought the whole set. We've seen this one. Look at this comment. This isn't from somebody who purchased one, but this is why the comments on your ads are super, super important. These look so beautiful in this ad. I'm very interested. So I am reading comments for feedback. People do not care as much about the reviews on your website because reviews can be easily faked and consumers are savvy to this. What is harder to fake is comments on your post. This is where people will look for reviews and for feedback. So make sure that when your ad is published and running, click preview Facebook ad with comments and share that link to friends and family and ask them to post some positive comments about the product. Simon, I've ordered all six orbs today, 11th of October, 2024. Thank you, Palm Lee. Got one of these, it's Ace, had it for last Christmas and the charger's only just needed another charge up. This is a great comment to share with you as well because dropshipping has this kind of reputation of a product comes into popularity, it 
becomes a winning product. Everybody jumps on it, milks it, and then it just dies off never to work again. Dropshipping does not have to work like that. As you go through the year, different seasons and different trends will always come back in. Consumers' behaviors repeat month after month, year after year. Just because something sold well 12 months ago does not mean that it won't sell again 12 months later. Let's jump onto the landing page for this product and take a look at the price and the different features they have. So they're sending the products for £34, which is like pretty spot on for an impulse buy kind of gift type range. Free shipping, which of course is a must, and then relevancy with Cyber Week ending soon. You can buy one, you can buy two, or you can buy the full set for £134.99. And we've seen there's a couple of people that have done just that. Wait till I show you the products in AliExpress and you'll see there's some serious money to be made on this product. Something they have, which I'm a really big fan of, is this order placed, dispatched, and delivered. Consumers want to know when their product is going to arrive. Too many dropshippers hide their shipping times on their website. Here is a dropshipping company clearly advertising that it's going to take approximately 10 days, and they are still making it work and still making it profitable. Everybody is capable of finding a dropshipping product and a supplier that can deliver in 10 days. It does not put consumers off, and this is proof. If we move through the description, it's a pretty basic description, could definitely be improved, but what is awesome on this website is everything below this moving banner. Moving banner included. Moving elements on your product page keep people engaged. It resets their attention span and keeps them on your website, which is crucial. As we move down, we have these kind of different premium features, which you can hover over to see the different features of the products, which is cool. This needs to be at the very top of the page, in my opinion. Social proof is everything nowadays on social media because consumers are savvy. The more you can humanize your brand by having reviews and real people talking about your product, showing your products on your website, this can and will make the difference between success and failure. This section here is awesome. Everybody should aim to get this on their website. If you don't have the content available online to use for yourself, then you're gonna to have to get creative or you're gonna to have to invest into your own business and send some of these out to different influencers, to actors, to UGC creators. 100% worth it. Position in their product as the superior, as the original, as the best one. This is a strategy that I see time and time again by successful dropshippers and a nice sliding kind of before and after effects showing how theirs is superior. So I tried to find this product on AliExpress and I found a couple of different suppliers. And what's really interesting about this website is it doesn't actually say how big it is. So I'm kind of guesstimating in terms of how big it looks against somebody's hand. So if we take a look at this image here, we have this product here, which is selling for $11. Shipping is 26 cents, it's neither here nor there. So it's $11 delivered, which is approximately eight or nine pounds. Let me just pause this video. And these guys are selling it for 34 pounds. So some decent profit margins in there. When you get people buying two, three, four, five, or even six of these things, you could be talking as much as 60, 70, 80 pounds profit per order. An awesome product, this one. So these guys have a six centimeter option for $11. These guys have, I couldn't find the size on this one, but it looks pretty much the same. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is an identical product. They're selling it for 99 cents. Yes, this is a special offer, but they wouldn't be able to offer this if they couldn't still make money at this. So you could still use it as a way to validate the idea. And then when you go across to Alibaba and you're sourcing 200, 500, 1,000 of these things, you're gonna be paying closer to this number here. The profit margins on this product are absolutely awesome. Let's move on to product number two, and this is a car tablet by a company called Car Tablet. This is June 13th, and this is the Ad Creative. Because of their high-end in-car entertainment system. That's why we started building a product that can do the same for way cheaper, like 200 times cheaper. After years of development, we can now finally introduce to you the Car Tablet Pro Max. This screen literally makes your car feel like a Tesla without any hard or expensive installations, and you can easily install it within five minutes. Plug it into your cigarette port, connect the screen with your Apple or Android phone wirelessly via Bluetooth, and boom, you have Apple and Android CarPlay in every car. Listen music on Spotify, navigate with Google Maps, watch your favorite show on Netflix, or use one of the other 1,000 plus compatible apps. It also has a built-in dash cam, and now you can even order it with a reversing camera for a discounted price. Get yours on GetCarTablet.com. 
Teslas are mainly so expensive because of their high end. Okay, so awesome, awesome ad creative. What these guys have done is they're probably a little bit shy to go on camera themselves, which is totally fine. That probably applies to the majority of people watching this product. So what they've done is they've actually ordered one of these things themselves, so they have it in their own hands, and they probably have a mobile phone in one hand and then doing all these different things with the product in the other hand, and they're not actually showing their face. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it if I turn it up a little bit, but there's a voiceover. You could do the voiceover yourself if you're confident enough to do it, so you're still not showing your face, or you can go into Fiverr and show somebody or you can go into Fiverr and pay somebody to do a voice, a professional voice over for you, and you wouldn't be looking at anything more than sort of $50. Really cheap, but effective ad creative. The more you can get away from this kind of recycling existing content, the better. To show you the newest comments as well, so engagement wise, 9.3 thousand reactions, 1.5 thousand comments, and 5 million views. This is an ad creative that has sold a lot of product. This is also an, a high ticket product I would consider, probably more like middle of the road ticket actually, with great profit margins once again. One hour ago, 16 hours ago, one week, two hours, two hours, 10 hours, four hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, eight hours. That's a significant amount of comments all within the last 12 hours. These guys are putting a lot of money into this product. What they did so well too, is, and you might have missed it, is they name dropped Tesla a few times through it and pictured and promoted Tesla as this superior product with amazing screens in their cars. And if we actually come through here, there's quite a few comments and upset people shooting down Tesla. So whether they did that on purpose or not, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a great way to, again, boost engagement. Social proof is all about engagement. So this is the product. This is their website. It's £100 reduced down from 286 which is a pretty hefty discount. A really nicely put together website. Everything just ties in and looks at home, if that makes sense. It's so easy and pleasing on the eyes. Everything's very simple, but everything is on brand and consistent. There's not tons and tons of different fonts and colors. Everything just flows nicely, and you can see they've put a lot of thought into separating this. This does not look like a stereotypical dropshipping store. Different features like this really help separate it apart from the typical dropshipper, and that's what you need to get away from. They also have a Trustpilot rating too, so they obviously have a lot of confidence in their product and in the surface they can offer to their consumers. What's included in the products then, you have the tablet, you have the suction cup holder, the dashboard bracket, and the built-in dash cam. That's an awesome and key element too that separates it from a lot of the normal screens that are currently on the market. Something to point out as well, which you may have missed, is this. They have the logo on the products like that. Now, some people are a little bit naughty and they will Photoshop their logo onto the product. So if you actually come down into the reviews, these guys are 100% legit. Look, there's a review and there's the logo and there's the brand name on the instructions too. So I would hazard a guess that these guys started out as a dropshipper because there's a product there that doesn't have the logo on. So I would hazard a guess and there's there it is again, again with no logo. And there it is again with no logo. So I would hazard a guess that either these are reviews that they've submitted themselves and I don't want to accuse anybody of doing that, of course, because I could be com speaking completely out of turn here. Or they started out as a white label dropshipping store, saw some success, validated the idea and progressed into private labeling the product. And that's most likely what has happened here is they started out as white label selling their products like this from AliExpress. When they validated the idea worked, decided to get their logo printed onto the product, onto the box, onto the instructions. This to me, again, for all intensive purposes, looks like the exact same product. It's got the same back. It's got the 4K dash cam. It's got the different swipe screens. It's got the different functions, features, the 4K capability. This is, for all intensive purposes, the same product. What's brilliant about this product too is look how quick the shipping is. If you want to sell to the US, you can get this delivered in two to eight days time. So $64, these guys are selling it for was £100, which is what, $140. So there's a good, or no, so I think it's a bit less than that. I think it's more like $120, $130. So the markup is basically 2x. So you are looking at approximately $50, $60 profit per order before your advertising costs, of course.
So that's the two products, but before you go anywhere, I'm gonna show you how to take one of these products. We're gonna start with the globe actually. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to take images from a supplier, how to edit them and make them on brand so they look at home on your own website. I cannot stress how important this is. Both of these websites that we looked at had their own original imagery. You need to be separating yourself. Importing products from AliExpress into your website using the same imagery as everybody else it just doesn't work anymore. Not really anyway. You might be able to get lucky and make a bit of money, but your time will come to an end because if somebody can just build another dropshipping store that looks identical to yours very easily and very quickly within 24 hours, you can do it in less, you can do it in half that time. You can do it in a quarter of that time. In six hours, you could create a dropshipping store selling this product with these images. But the more barriers you put in place for somebody copying you, for example, editing your own imagery and making it original, the more people are gonna be put off by doing it. So really important part. So first things first, we need a copy of the product image. I'm gonna try and do this quickly, but while I'm still showing you how to do it effectively, I'm gonna import the image into Canva. And then what I'm gonna do is this design here is 1080 by 1080. This is the aspect ratio that I use for all of my product images. When we've imported it in, just make sure it's central. And then that way, whenever you import imagery of the other variants, it's all going to be in the same place. So when it swipes, the only thing that is changing is the actual variant of the product. But these elements in the background stay in the same place. What we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste it and again, put it central. So it's exactly the same. And if we put it behind and in front, there's nothing happening. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm, on my keyboard, I'm going backwards and forwards and it's exactly the same, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to click the top to select the top layer. We're going to go to background remover and hopefully Canva does a good job, which it does. And as we can see, look, we've got just the product and we can line it up perfect. Next, we're gonna import some text. Because we've got a dark background, I'm gonna go for white text. I'm just gonna put in, say we're running a 50% off deal. And what I'm gonna do is stretch this out nice and big so everybody can see it. Now that looks okay, doesn't it? But still looks pretty amateurish. If we put it there, it's covering the products, which is no good. So what I'm gonna do is just bring this to the front and have it settled in behind, just to cover that kind of 3D effect and makes it look a little bit more professional. The next thing I'm gonna do, because I'm based in the UK, I know a lot of dropshipping orders, the final leg of delivery will be performed or fulfilled, I should say, um, by Royal Mail or Every. I've imported the Royal Mail logo. So what I'm gonna do again is just remove the background and I'm gonna have it clearly on the product image here. And they come onto our store and see the Royal Mail logo, it instantly separates them from all those previous sites they've been on. It makes them feel more at home. They know we're a UK based business and they'll feel a lot more comfortable. Little touches like this can make a massive difference. Next, if we come up into the search elements, I'm just gonna go for free delivery and we'll go for graphics, we'll go to see all, and we'll try and find something that's probably similar color to the red, so it kind of matches in well. In fact, we've got a red and yellow there, which is similar to the Royal Mail logo, and we'll put this in so it looks nice and square, and that doesn't look too bad, does it? That could be our main product image, so that when somebody lands on our site, this is what they see. It's original and it's different to any other image that they'll see on another website. We could as well actually go one step further. In fact, let's do this quickly, is we'll remove the background of the one behind. So we've literally got just the one product. We'll bring this up, get rid of that one. So we'll put that kind of central. This can now be made. We'll keep that white in fact, because what I'm gonna do is go to elements. I'm gonna go for a space background. And let's try and put this in behind. Let's see how this looks. I haven't pre-tested this or pre-gone through this, so I don't know how it's gonna look. And then if we put that behind, 50% off, that background is probably a bit too in your face. Let's see if we can find a softer one. I actually need to just go the other way and get a darker one. I don't think that looks too bad, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to edit. I'm gonna try and add a white shadow to it and see how that looks, just to make the product pop a little bit more. So if we come down into edit and then effects and then shadow, then we'll go for a glow and then we'll change the color to white. There we go, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? That doesn't look too bad at all. That doesn't look too bad, does it? To say it's only taken us a minute or two, I think that looks all right. It's unique, it's original. People who have never seen that image before, so we'll look better in Facebook's eyes as well. 
and it doesn't take too long. Yes, it's added work, but that added work is required if you want to succeed at this. So next up, we want to write some product descriptions for this product. We could head over to the Palmly website and take their product description and we'll paste it into ChatGBT and get it to rewrite it. But to be honest, I prefer to start from scratch. It doesn't quite sit with me very right, taking somebody else's product description and having it rewritten. So I much prefer to rewrite it from scratch. What I'm going to do is very straightforward is we're just going to take a screenshot of the products like this. We'll open up ChatGPT. As you can see, I've already been through this. And then what I'm going to do is just ask it, can you see what this product is? We've had an upload fail for some reason. So we'll send that into ChatGPT and just let it register so it knows what we're talking about. Yes, this product appears to be another version. So it's saying that because I've already uploaded it. Next, if you're not quite sure who your ideal target market is, then you can ask it. Just say, I'm what this is a drop shipping product that I'm going to advertise on Facebook. Can you tell me who is most likely to buy this? And a few seconds later, as we can see, four different ideal target markets that we can go for. So let's say we're targeting gift shoppers. It's Q4 coming up to Christmas. That's obviously who we're going to go after. What we're going to do now is say to ChatGPT is write me product description for this product or my Shopify store. So you can literally just vomit on here and literally speak it as it comes out of your mouth and ChatGPT should understand you. So you can literally just vomit onto the page and ChatGPT will understand you. Awesome tool. If you're not using AI for your website, then you're definitely working slower than you need to. So write me a product description for this product for my Shopify store. We're not going to stop there though. We need it to be more specific. We want it to talk specifically and targeted towards our ideal target market. And this is really important because if you write a product description that's talking to everybody, it's not going to connect with that one person and that's what you want the product description to do you want it to connect with someone so that when somebody reads it they feel like you're talking specifically to them think about it if you went to a car showroom um, to buy a new car and a salesman got up on stage and started talking to the whole floor nobody would probably listen to him but if he actually came over to you and got to know you and spoke towards your interests and the reason why you were looking at a specific car it's a pretty extreme example but this is how we want to do our product descriptions. So write me a product description for this product for my Shopify store. Write it as if you are talking to my ideal target market, which is gift shoppers. This will most likely be females over 50 purchasing for their grandchildren. We saw in the comment section, didn't we, that there was a couple of grandparents that had bought it for their grandchildren. So I'm going to write a product description tags in those people. Or I'll say what I need is four sections, each section with a headline and 30 word supporting paragraph. And let's see what that looks like. The network connection was lost, which is not good. Let's try and retry that. Here we go. So it didn't take too long, did it? So here we go. It didn't take too long, did it? A magical gift for little explorers. Delight your grandchild with a captivating 3D crystal ball featuring a laser engraved solar system. It's an enchanting gift that sparks curiosity and love for the co cosmos. I could spend probably two hours and wouldn't be able to write something as good as that. That is why ChatGPT is so powerful and that's why you need to be using it for your own business. So straight away, it's talking to the perfect target market and the reason why they would buy it. It's getting them thinking, which grandson or which granddaughter should I buy this for? Educational and decorative. So it's playing on that, what's the word I'm looking for? So that's not just a, a gimmicky gift. There's an educational element to it, which obviously every grandparent and every parent would prefer to have to help bring their children on. Crafted to inspire wonder. Who doesn't want to do that with their grandchildren? And they're also mentioning that it's a gift too. So it's just kind of re-emphasizing that element that you don't need to buy this for yourself. You're more likely, <clears throat> most likely it will make a great gift for somebody else. So even if they don't have a grandchild, it might get them thinking, oh, as a gift, who could I buy this for? Who would actually appreciate this product? So a brilliant product description. And so there we have it. We have our product images, which you can go through one by one and create something unique and original. 
we have our product description written by ChatGPT in the space of, again, 30 seconds or so. What I would do is separate up these sections with an image or GIF, a moving part, something visually striking, so that when somebody is scrolling down on their mobile phone, there's always an image or GIF for them to watch in case they are too lazy to read the text. That's it for this video. If you'd like me to take this one step further, let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And don't forget to check out my free course, which includes more content like this, as well as an awesome community for dropshippers to hang out and chat to each other. It'll be the top link in the description below. Thanks.